Hey everyone, it's Eddie Campos here with Remax Preferred Associates. We're in beautiful downtown Sylvania and we're at the Chandler Cafe. Let's go inside and see who our guest is today. Hey everyone, it's Eddie Campos here with Remax Preferred Associates and this is Coffee with Eddie. We're on episode 64 already. We've been having a phenomenal time and I really appreciate everybody tuning in. So our purpose today is to try to get some more information from local schools and how they're uh, having an effect on our community. So today, our guest is Dr. Adam Fineski with Sylvania Schools. So Adam, I thought I'd start with the, with the toughest question that every superintendent probably gets is state funding. The state says you need somewhere around $6,000 for every student to effectively uh, teach them. And you get somewhere around $2,000. So how do you make up the difference and how does that affect you being able to impact the challenges that you have on a daily basis. Sure, so uh, first of all, I just wanna say thanks for having me and uh, thanks for highlighting Sylvania and our community. Um, you know, state funding is a tricky subject and it's uh, a subject that's the talk of superintendents, treasurers, teachers, and parents uh, across the state of Ohio right now. Um, unfortunately, we have a state funding model uh, that truly doesn't work. It doesn't work, it's, it's unfair for schools, um, in public schools especially. And that feeling is pretty mutual across the state. Uh, so what we have to do is make it work the best we can, um, knowing that cost per student that uh, schools should have uh, to meet the needs of all kids, and then how much we actually get from the state. Um, we're forced to really look tough in our own community to ask for dollars to fulfill that gap. Uh, that gap has to be filled because those needs are there, uh, those expectations are there by communities, um, and the dollars have to be there to fulfill those expectations. Right. So um, in, our, in our town, um, what we try to do in Sylvania here is uh, really look tough every day at our budget. Uh, we like to run an efficient and effective school district, always looking tight at you know, what we're spending, what we're spending it on, how could we spend it better uh, to make sure that we can meet the needs of all of our kids. And with those growing needs, that's challenging. Well, sure, and, and as we spoke before, it's not like you're making widgets and you're making a dollar and a half profit. I mean, our investment is in the children and that's our profit is the children and where they go in the future. So you, you are on a, on a limited budget, just like managing any home. Yeah. So how do you increase those funding? So yeah, so challenges like safety, challenges like being able to stay on top of computer development that kids absolutely sure. need today. That's That's gotta be tough. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, it's always our goal to stay off the ballot as long as possible and to not go back to the taxpayers to ask for additional tax dollars. Right. They don't um, want higher taxes. They don't. <laughs> and um, you know, I think that's a challenge when unfortunately we don't get enough funding from the state level, but yet the needs and expectations continue to raise and so we have to meet those needs. And so, you know, again, our goal is always to stay off the ballot as long as we have to. Um, from time to time, we have to go back and ask for more depending on um, how the increase of needs, you know, get and, and if we need those dollars. But, you know, our district has high expectations. Um, people move to Sylvania schools for the schools. Uh, they move to Sylvania for the schools. And, um, you know, I think it's really important to make sure that we keep that level um, very high the latest technology, making sure our buildings are always safe and secure, and that changes daily with needs there. Um, so, you know, looking as much as we can to be creative with the funding we do have, uh, we're very active with grant funding and looking at grants that can help su uh, supplement some of the funds. That's what we do to try to make it work. I think we do a pretty good job here. Um, we've been off the ballot for quite a while. Our budget looks pretty good moving forward. Um, so we'll keep that positive momentum. Well, that's fantastic to hear. I know it's a big challenge for you guys. It is. This has been episode 64 with Coffee with Eddie. My name is Eddie Campos with Remax Preferred Associates, and we're with Dr. Adam Fineski. Thanks for tuning in.